Welcome back to this week's video. This week we got some snow and that means I had some fun. And then I had some more fun. And then I had some more fun. And then I think I might have had some more fun. But more importantly, I actually got the Volvo inspected. Let's get right into it. After a quick time lapse of the snow we got, All right, I'm about to go get the permit for the Volvo to drive to the inspection office. I would have done it yesterday, but I came down with something on Monday. Fortunately, I seem to already be getting over it, so I'm just gonna wear a mask. So, as you can see, we did get quite a bit of snow, actually. Oh, and today it's starting right up. So, I don't know what was up the other day when it wouldn't start. It wasn't even, like, ticking. It just wouldn't even crank. So, actually, let's take this thing. It has snow tires on it. The Outback doesn't and it's rear wheel drive. There's the wipers. All right, I don't have a brush in here. I gotta go grab one. To be clear, I know that you should never use a brush in your car, but do you think I care about the paint on this thing? The answer is no. I've been meaning to pick up a leaf blower for clearing off the snow. It'd be a lot quicker and I could use it on cars where I do care about the paint. I should have gotten the push broom. What the hell am I doing? Why am I using this thing when I have a damn push broom? Now we're talking. There we go, that's more like it. I don't think they're gonna plow the roads this week because... It's gonna melt on uh, Saturday anyways, or Sunday. Oh, it's been a while. Freeway's still moving at about 45, 50. Where is the exit? Nobody knows. Oh, I love snow tires. It's gonna be fun driving the Volvo over to the inspection office tomorrow. It does not have snow tires. I just can't help myself. I mean, excuse me, that was completely unintentional. I was just correcting the slide. Oh, I forgot to install my winter performance package, AKA 200 pounds of sand in the trunk. I'll have to do that when I get home. I just got a thumbs up from the guy in the Jeep next to me. I think he might've seen me do that big slide in the intersection, I don't know. Or maybe he thinks I'm a cop and was just giving me a thumbs up. Maybe he's sucking up to the law. That's hilarious. All right, well, I'm a royal idiot. I forgot my wallet, which means I have no ID, but she was able to get around by asking what cards I had, but it also means I have no money. So back home it is. So I lost audio here, but essentially I got home, I got back just fine, got the permit as you see here, and then I headed back home. On the way home there was an Amazon delivery vehicle blocking the road, and so I was kind of excited to use the Crown Vic's off-road capabilities to just zip around it on a side hill.
Hey, and I didn't even set off the alarm. There, that'll work. All right, so we've gotten quite a bit more snow. I'm gonna measure it in a bit and see how much we have so far, but I'm gonna see if the Outback, it's parked out back here. I'm gonna see if it can plow itself out of the driveway. Right now, it looks like we're at about six inches and it's still coming down. This is also a car where I don't care much about the paint, so doing it with the push broom. Here, why don't I get it warming up first, hey? Installed it. for some reason. I got a little doused in snow. That is cold. All right, it's inspection day. I couldn't resist. Earlier I did take the Volvo out and I did discover this. Well, as I was leaving, this just came up. So I'll have to look into that later. So one of my solder joints or something must have messed up. I'll have to pull the bumper back off, redo all the zip ties, figure out what's wrong there. But that shouldn't keep us from getting inspected. Let's get right to it. Got all the paperwork. I've got my wallet. You know, I have a little extra time. I should go check the website and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think I've got everything. 
let's go. I was very fortunate this thing came with a full tank of gas. It's so weird to hear the traction control system doing its thing. I've never owned a car that has anything more sophisticated than ABS. We better see how the off-road capabilities are. I mean, that was pretty good. Oh, I heard it break there. It keep me from sliding. Oh, I, yeah, it's so weird, the traction control. All right, I'm gonna get back on the road. I don't want the bumper flying off or anything like that before I even get to the inspection. Dude, this thing goes pretty good, even with the very limited traction. <laughs> Stability managing is wild, man. I know it's been standard on like a lot of cars for the past quite a few years, but it's new to me, man. You shouldn't use cruise in this uh, situation, but let's see if it works. Oh yeah, works good. Yo, I just noticed, I think this thing has rain sensing wipers, which is another feature that I've never experienced before. Unfortunately, it's not raining right now, so I can't test it. All right, we're almost there. We are more than a half hour early. You're supposed to be, I think about 15 minutes early. So I guess I'll just go get in line. I'm just gonna put that in the back seat and leave the mic on. They aren't like thinking I'm recording them or trying to start something. Looks like there's no line, the door's closed. Documents and photo ID ready. Oh, the door's open. Hey, Joel, I'm a bit early. What cylinder, how many? It's, it's five. Wow. Oh, five cylinder? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a full one. Yeah. Automatic? Yep. Leather or cloth seats? Leather. What color? Uh, tan, beige. Your mileage and airbag light. Turn it uh, on like you're going to start it. There's the airbag light. 29925. Uh, go off. Okay. What it is it? Oh, 129 Yep. Okay. What'd you do to it? Uh, it was in a minor rear right collision, so I just fixed the bumper and put it back on. Have you opened up your door? Sure. And you can pop the hood, wherever that is. That's the original bumper? Yeah. Be right back. Sure. And now we wait. I think I've been here for about 15 minutes now. I think last time it took about 20. I guess they must just have to go do a whole bunch of paperwork. It only takes about maybe five or 10 for him to look over the car. We got 60 days, just sign it. When you get a chance, we'll take it up to the DOL and get a license. Perfect, thank you very much. All right, and we are off. Let me get the camera mounted back up real quick. Now to head to the DOL and sit in line. Oh my God, there's a Hummer EV behind me. Seen one of those on the road yet. <laughs> Sweet, that thing doesn't have any problem with the snow. It just sinks right to the bottom. I think this thing accelerates better in the snow than any of my other cars do, aside from the RSX and the dry. Well, I just realized I forgot to start a stop at the ATM and it's already like, I think 4.15. Well, it's already four o'clock. They're only open for another hour. I'll just come in and do this tomorrow. Let's see how that works now. I think we might have a dead pump on our hands. I'm gonna take care of that. You can't not have windshield washer. I think that I ought to do a little quick test of the all wheel drive system here on this little hill climb. The layout went up here just fine. It was kind of snowy out. Let's see if this thing can. Wait. It's trying, but no dice. Let's hope we aren't stuck here. Now let's give it a little more speed. Oh yeah, no problem. Well, that was a pretty successful journey. When I got back from the inspection, I was noticing a little bit of a wobble in the wheel. I kind of thought it was just snow and ice that had caked in there. And so I put it in the shop overnight at about 40 degrees on the thermostat. And when I drove it next, the window washer worked again. So the pump wasn't bad, it was just frozen. Oh, and it did fix the wobble as well. All five of my Atom Echoes, AKA my locally hosted, completely local smart speakers have arrived along with two of the speaker adapters, which essentially gives them a three and a half millimeter jack so you can hook up an actually good speaker. 
And these just have pins on the bottom and then those have pins there. So you just plug into here and that ends up looking like that. I'm gonna just get one working in the first place and then I'll do all the rest of them in batch. Setting these things up was about as simple as it gets. I just plugged them into my computer via USB-C, clicked a few buttons and it flashed them with whatever needed to be on them. And then just clicked another button and it automatically connected it to my home assistant for me. However, so as you can see right here, I have the Atom Echo mounted and I have it set up and connected to Home Assistant. However, I am running into a common bug where it won't respond after you try it the first time. It's a known bug. So these things are pretty much useless until that bug gets patched. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see if that happens anytime soon, but that's a really big disappointment. All right, the snow did not melt as I had predicted earlier, almost like I'm not a meteorologist. Um, but anyways, the Christmas lights still need to come down, so I'm gonna go tear them off the house real quick and just throw them in the garage to dry and tie them up later. All right, so I'm feeling a little under the weather as it turns out, so I'm not gonna get to the Oldsmobile today. I think I would have sucked it up and worked on the Volvo, except some of the parts didn't come in. I need to replace the headlights, get those parking sensors fixed, and change the oil and I'm missing the parts for two out of three of those jobs, assuming that the parking sensors don't need any new parts. So anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Next week, you can look forward to me doing those little things on the Volvo, as well as hopefully finally diagnosing the Oldsmobile.